All right, Stoney. This one is uh, for you. This is a pecan tree that my cousin's widow had cut down. And you see it's got a really good heart in it. That thing's about 40 inches across. It won't fit in my sawmill, and I can't even move it uh, with my tractor hardly at all. Uh, it won't. It's just not man enough to tote it. My back wheels come off the ground. But what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to stand this thing up if I can. That's what I'm going to try to do. And take my saw and saw this sap off. You know, saw it down the sides. That way maybe it'll be a little more manageable. They can burn that sap for firewood, use it for cooking uh, in the grills and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but I want to see what that heart looks like when I get it sawed up. I hadn't made up my mind yet whether to saw it two inches thick or whether to just uh, cut it maybe a, a quarter of an inch thick and make a, a laminate out of it. Here comes Bonnie. But we'll see. So we'll uh, set y'all up over here in a minute and let y'all take a look at this. <clears throat> All right, Stoney. Uh, that ain't working out too very well. I mean, I'm getting it, but I ain't liking it. I ain't liking it at all. That's rough on my chainsaw. My saw cut right through that stuff, cross grain. But when you start going down grain, or with the grain, whatever you want to call it, uh, in this case it's down, uh, boy, it's hard doing. Which convinces me that those Alaskan chainsaw mills that they sell ain't uh ain't worth taking out of the creek. Don't look to me like I, I can't imagine trying to really saw board with a what they call an Alaskan chainsaw mill. That would be a hard way to do it when a bandsaw does so much better. My bandsaw would walk, walk right through this stuff, but it's uh it's uh, a little too big. But I got this one started. So I'm gonna see take some measurements. I might can I might can deal with it now in my meal, I'm not sure. But if I can I'll take a little more off of it. But when I get through get it to uh uh where we can tell a little more about it, we'll we'll go from there. That thing uh when I went to pick it up, I did move it but it makes the back wheels of my tractor come off the ground which makes it real hard to maneuver uh, just on the two front wheels but uh, I'm gonna move some of this junk out of my way here some of this I got sawed off you can see what I made a, a, a just a mess out of it but uh, this is what you call a learning experience <laughs> okay uh, see you in a little bit all right, I'm gonna see if I can get y'all up to date here. Uh, we went and ate dinner. And uh, <clears throat> you can see I got my dually back in online here. That thing didn't have a blowed head gasket. It had a uh, injector seat that had got crossed up in there somehow or another and was letting compression back into the engine. But I wound up taking it out to a shop out in the hunter, this boy. Uh, he's quite a decent mechanic. Uh, he, used to, he worked at Ford Place for 18 years, and he's opened his own shop. And he fixed me right up for a little less than $1,500, but we got her going, and proud to have it going. Now, we've been whittling on this thing over here all morning. Uh, I've had a time with it. Uh, <clears throat> My wife and my cousin's wife, a widow, was out here a while ago, uh, wondering just what I was doing like this. Uh, and I told him, I said, well, I thought I might carve us a grizzly bear out of this thing. Of course, that ain't going to happen. But anyway, we got one more piece around there that she's picking at that we're going to take off. Uh, 
I had to go back and sharp my chain again. That thing is eating my chain up. Uh, now it cut in cross grain easy, but boy, it don't want to come down. But anyway, we're going to get this other side off of it and see if we can pick it up and put it on the truck. <laughs> we'll see. Y'all just keep watching. Oh yeah. All right, boys. We got this thing down where we're just looking at the heart of it now. And that heart is about 27 inches. That, that, now that's the heart of that pine, uh, pecan tree. Yeah, 27 inches. Oh. Uh, That'll make some pretty wood for somebody. I don't know who. I'm going to put it on that little mill of mine and see what it looks like after I get her trimmed down and sawing out them hearts. But we got the, we got the sap off of it. Oh, uh, See that knot right there? That's uh, That stuff in there will be pretty when it gets in that heart. There's another side a while ago. That I don't know if we got it or not, but it's... Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll take some more videos of it when we start sawing it up. Let me take you over here. Do what, Bonnie? Not yet. Uh, it about wore that saw out there. I believe that saw looked like I'd been sawing concrete with it when I went over there to sharpen it a while ago. Uh -oh. It had all the, the tips off of them teeth were knocked off. I had to grind a pretty good bit off. Uh, this, is, this is the next piece of that trunk. Look at that. Man, that is that is gorgeous wood, and that's still 27 inches right there. Well, it would be because I sawed it off of that, it sawed off of that other. Uh, and there's the stump. That stump's about four foot at the bottom, or better, ain't it? 41 inches. At the, well, at the top. Uh, at the top. Cut, yeah. 41 inches. 41 inches up here at the top where it's been cut. So that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good old pecan tree. That's uh. In sort of a mess now. I'm gonna try to move that piece of the tractor. I don't know if I can. It won't pick it up, uh, but I get it out of the way a little bit. I'd like to. When I get up enough nerve, I want to see how this saw and what it looks like. If I get up enough nerve, I'd like to. I'd like to cut that piece there up too. Oh, uh, there ain't as much sap on that though. Boy, you ain't kidding. 
Yeah, that's going to be... Yeah, I noticed up this jump. A lot of trouble. On one side where it's coming up. Oh, uh, what is that, rotten fire? No, it's sap. Sap out of a pecan? Oh, it's, it's yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? It wasn't there the other day, so. Huh. I guess it is bleeding. Well, all righty. We'll uh, let y'all join in again after a while. You see, I didn't come off without help. Look at that pretty blonde up there driving that tractor for me. We got that uh we got that old log down there laying on the ground. We're gonna Well I'm gonna sharpen my chainsaw again and then I'm gonna knock off for the day. And we'll see if we can get these things edited and all that stuff tonight. Let y'all see what we've been doing. See ya.